and then behind the rocks is on top of some rocks and then it's a blanket and you have to make it back to 84, 84 degrees approximately and like it's going to be inside of another box and with a lock on it and then he was like okay okay she's like it's a red purse that man went up there that previous vlog with Peyton. All right, you guys, we are here in Chicago. Hey, girl, you look pretty. close range. I'm like, what? Why you acting dumb like that? How was your food? Good. You taking a picture of me? Yeah. <laughs> I swear by the moon and the stars in the sky I'll be there all right, you guys, let's jump in today's video. If you did not catch last week's vlog, definitely go and check it out. And yeah, let's see what's going on. By the moon and the stars and the sky. All right, guys, before I get into today's vlog, I want to tell you guys about Thrive Market. And I do want to thank Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery store on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. You have guaranteed savings. You can get everything you need. Filter the catalog of products by diet and lifestyle, product types, and your favorite brands. You have two different membership options. You can pay monthly for $9.95 a month or yearly for $59.95 a month. That's only $5 a month. All you have to do is click the link in my description box or go to thrivemarket.com backslash Peyton Marie to get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $50 when you join Thrive Market today. I love the fast shipping and how my groceries came packaged, but more than anything, I love this recipe book. I highly encourage you guys to try out Thrive and their organic products. And thanks again to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds doing just these slides in both ears. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas trip tonight. Slip that on and we might miss the fight. Fuck or not, I keep the quality in my shorty bag. No, she want a mom when she tattooed that ass. I'm a lover boy. She got the toys. Keep it coming, you a rider. It's that roll myself a day and count my biggest shit. It's that stepping out, I feel like I'm that nigga shit. I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sleep for shit yeah, If I yeah. catch you nodding off, then it's gon' be some shit What well, you can do what you wanna Live how you wanna Spend what you wanna Be who you wanna be I'm gonna like G.I.E. Welcome back to another day in my life. So I have some errands to run. I'm, I'm gonna go to the gym because I was too late. Like when I got up, it was like 11 something. I actually 
yesterday was a rest day for me so my housekeepers came and cleaned i folded all of the clothes i did all of the laundry so there's not a dirty piece of laundry in the house um i redid my room like i re kind of decorated and changed some things around and i put up curtains in my room so i'll show you guys that a little later but it is a vibe in there honey so um today i'm just gonna run some errands i'm out of shower gel so i need to go buy some more native shower gel so we need to do a target run i want to go to the gym since i wasn't able to go to pilates today i'm gonna go to the gym and try to get in a little bit of of a workout um just keep this body you know right and tight um I definitely need to do my hair. I need to, to change my hair. I tried to get into uh, the blowout bar t to get a blowout because I really need to like wash and flatter in my natural hair. But everybody is booked up for the weekend. I don't know what's going on, honey, but no one has openings. So maybe I'll just walk around a mile and see if they can do my hair. I don't know. I don't know. We're playing it by ear, but we definitely need to go to a Target. I'm going to the gym um oh i need a car wash so bad definitely gonna go and get a car wash we might need to do that first because because ma'am is looking like i don't care nothing about her um but yeah house is clean so when we come back we don't have to do anything but relax and i want to open some packages to do too i definitely need to go and pick up um, some packages you guys have been sending me stuff so I need to go and pick that up from the warehouse as well so yeah let's go this smoothie is so good come on all right all right all right we are headed to get this car wash first because I feel like everything clean i'm clean the house clean the car needs to be clean you know what i'm saying she's looking really dirty she's looking very unkept i don't like her looking like this especially with me riding around in it i ain't cute so let's do that first but i am so glad that i took time out yesterday to just really clean my house and do my laundry because i'm never doing it again i'm never letting my laundry get to that point where uh, i mean it's how many loads did I do? I, I did so many loads I can't even I can't even remember. My light bill gonna be high as hell for June. <clears throat> Cause I did so many loads. I'm never letting my laundry get to that point ever again. If I have to do laundry every other day to make sure that I because one, I don't even mind doing laundry. It's the folding that I don't like. It's the folding and putting the clothes back up that I don't like. And I also realize that I need to purge a lot of stuff. Because that six drawer, that mirror dresser that I got, it don't hold very much. So the more clothes that I get that require folding and putting away that I can't hang up, the more space that I need, the more storage I need. And I'm not wearing a lot of that stuff that's in those drawers. Like 
I wasn't trying to pop my pimples, but they just ended up popping. So now we have scars. Love that for me. Love that. All right, so my favorite native shower gel is out of stock. So let's smell the lilac and white tea. Ugh, God. I don't like it. Coconut vanilla doesn't do anything for me. Oh god. The one that I like isn't even on the shelf. That's odd. Was it a seasonal one? I think it was cucumber mint or something like that. It's not even on the shelf. I like the Avino. Stress relief body wash, but it has uh, sulfates in it. I think. I think it's it's not. I think it might be paraben free, but it's not sulfate free. It's sulfates in this. Every second, every minute, man. I every, every second, every minute, man. I every second, every minute, man. I swear that she can get it, man. I swear that she can. Get Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high, hands up high, hands up high. Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can keep it. Man, I swear that she can get it. Man, I swear that she can get it. Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can. Every every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if How to title this video how to avoid passing out this summer because it is hot it is hot i am nauseous oh, it's, not a crush, it's so hot my sweat and the heat Ooh, infused hush now it's so hot my sweat and the heat infused this wig back down to my skin baby it ain't going nowhere I just put it on, like I ain't even like, child, listen, it's hot than a motherfucker outside. Listen her. it's hot to say outside. The sun, the, the, what am I doing? The UV rays that are coming up out of this sun today, it's telling me to go home. It's telling me to take a break, take a load off. It's telling me to lay down for a little while. I just, I can't. It, 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 it say 92 degrees, it feels like 102. You got me messed up to, now, look, I ain't believing it. This car is wrong. It ain't no 92 degrees, it's 102. It might even be 112. Cause man made thermostats and all of that. But God, you understand? God said it's hotter. And I believe God. I believe in God and I believe God, baby. God said it's hot outside. It ain't no 92. It is too hot to be outside. I tell you, I don't even understand how girls say they fit to be hot girls in summer. Who the hell want to be single outside? Baby, I want to be in a relationship in the house. Mm -mm. I want to be laid up under some air that's blowing out 68. Did I tell y'all my uh my air went out? Child, I almost had a. I I listen. I almost cussed some people out that day. Thermostat kept reading all day. It was 80. All day it was 80 in my house. Air would not work. I called the people out to come look at my air. It cost me $295 for them to tell me turn it off for two hours because it has uh, frozen. The pipes have frozen and they need to defrost. I paid almost $300 for them to tell me that and it worked. So before y'all call out an HVAC, AC and cooling, whatever them people call, before y'all call out a technician, turn your air off for two hours. I know it's going to get a little hot in there, but you heard it here first. It's going to work. Don't waste your money. So I want to show you the updates that I did to my room. So this bench was right here. I moved it by the window to give it kind of like a, I forgot what that's called when you have like a bench by the window, but I put up 
drapes and shears too i wanted it to go extend all the way to the wall here but i only had two of those uh vigba racks i thought i had three and i was gonna like saw one in half so i can like extend it but i only had two so eventually i'll go out to ikea it's just ikea is so far like that has to be a day to go to ikea because uh, i get nauseous when i go to ikea but yeah, these are the updates. I put up curtains and then I just moved the bench over by the window. So this is what my bedroom is looking like now. And you see I have my perfume rack over here. I still have the two chairs here. Um, and then the TV and all of that is behind me. So I have a lot of space in this room. Like moving that bench over by the window really opened up the bedroom can y'all tell what i'm talking about like moving that bench over there just really opened up the bedroom i don't know how because that bench doesn't take up much space but it really opened up the bedroom to me Yes, I did. She did it. Mm -hmm. Leave the car right out, Mr. Stubbins, and mow him down. <laughs> Shut up. Stella, when was the last time you had a decent? Oh my God. Did y'all know Stella got her? Um, did y'all know? Did y'all know? Did y'all know? But did y'all know that how Stella got her groove back was a true story? Yes, girl. I still got her groove back is a whole true story. That really happened. An older lady went to Jamaica, picked up her one of them young men, took him back to the United States. They got married, and after he got his um, visa or green card or whatever you call it, baby, he left her. So, just in case y'all thinking about going to Jamaica, honey, Don't do it, Miss Silly. Don't do. In the shade baby the sun it, it seemed like the sun yes it is i just looked up the sun is literally right on top of me it's right above me like literally 12 o'clock so yeah i'm getting i'm getting some vitamin oh that's lint baby i thought that was a bug i'm getting some vitamin d in the shade Cause you can still get it in the shade did y'all know that yes you can still get it in the shade and i got those little uh i told y'all i bought those uh grass fences shy don't waste your money let me show you you see that thing right there girl look at that mess that was fifty dollars now why they play with me like that about two 
I'm thinking, I'm thinking that it's so big because, and it came from China. Be careful with these Instagram websites. No, you know what? I found it on Pinterest. Be careful with these Pinterest as websites. Because the commercials that they use make it seem like you don't need but one, right? Because it's so big and wide. So I bought two because I'm like, you know, my, my roots are pretty, like, long. So, girl, I would need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I would need 12 of these damn things for it to do what I was intending and on it to do with Two. Don't be fooled by these Instagram ads and with Pinterest ads websites because they scam artists for real. They got me this time. Oh, they got me. Oh, they got me, sis. That shit was $50 a piece. I can't believe it. I ain't never, I, you know what? I may do what it was. I may do what it is. It. You know what? So... Mm hmm it's still a vibe out here regardless um i decided not to plug up the propane tank baby it's too hot for a fire pit it is ain't nobody for the, i'm not about to light that even at night it still be hot up here and i don't even have no company to light the fire pit the fire pit would be for company when i have company you know what i'm saying and we sit out here drink our little wine do, 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 by the fire you know but um, no, it's too hot. I'll wait till it get, like, foul. Because <laughs> it don't get cool in in the summer in uh Texas. It still be 90s at night. Hold on, that umbrella. Keep your ass this way. Y'all, the wind be so high up here. I had to tie my umbrella down with zip ties. It feel good up here under the shade, I ain't gonna lie. And um, this is a perfect place to get a tan with the sun being right on top of you. Perfect. Y'all ever wanna get a tan, y'all feel free to come over my house. And I even got a water hose over there. You know what I'm saying? So like when we get real hot, I'll spray y'all down with the water hose. It'll be similar to like being going, you know what I'm saying, being by the pool, but you just ain't got no pool. I hate them at my townhouse. Oh, hell no. But yeah, as I was saying, you can come over here and lay out on the couch, get you a nice tan. Under this Texas sun, get you a nice tan, and then I spray you down with the water hose, because I know you're going to be hot. Or you can get in the shower and take a cold shower. So it's all up to you. Shower's right there, you know, a couple of steps away. But yeah, honey, I think I might sunbathe today. The only th thing is I need to do what I need to do. I need to get things done be before I do that because one thing about the sun and me, it'll put me back in the bed. The sun will show sure enough put me back in the bed. When God made me, I don't think he wanted me to have like a, an excess amount of vitamin D. Cause I'm de definitely deficient. Every time I go to the doctor, they be like, you need to take D3. And I'm like, listen, I stand out in the sun. I, I get enough sun, I do. But I think it's just being black, you know? The amount of melanin, the more melanin you have in your skin, um, the more deficient you are. I'm gonna Google it before I post it. Cause somebody in the, somebody in the comments, one of you doctors is gonna try to come for me.
he's just the type of guy. He just feels like women are a priority and you should kind of go above and beyond or whatever. And so um, he had went and got my keys. And then uh, this one lady, this Haitian chick, you know, she was a nice looking lady or whatever. She was like, uh, y'all, I'm going to try to do this Haitian accent. Don't laugh at me if I can't do it right. She was like, um... Can you go? And she was like, Can you go get my purse? And he was like, Where's your purse? She was like, It's in the top of the closet. It's behind the box. And then behind the box, it's on top of some rocks. And then it's a blanket. And you have to make it back to 84, 84 degrees approximately. And like, it's going to be inside of another box and with a lock on it. And then he was like, Okay, okay. She's like, It's a red purse. That man went up there. That went up there. And he got the purse in like two seconds. Literally, even with all of those instructions, he gave him some. So he came back, he came back downstairs with her purse or whatever. So of course she was <laughs> then after that, <laughs> one dude, the guy who lived next door to me, he told a firefighter, he was like, man, can you please, he was like, can you please go downstairs and get my shoes? <laughs> Yo. Of course the firefighter was like, where are my shoes? He was like, he was like, they Y'all Rochelle funny as they fuck. Red. They got pet leather on them. I they love her. Rochelle funny than a motherfucker, bro. They, they got fur around them. Literally, the minute you open the door, they right by the door. All right, guys, I'm about to get ready to go to the mall. I just got a new scent from Twisted Lily in from Mason Crevelli's line. I just got out the shower and all I put on was Wood Sage and Sea Salt by Joe Malone body lotion. So I'm about to, that's going to be my fragrance of the day. Damn it, your ways for a reason, no, reason, no. My hair is a mess. I need to do it both natural and wig but you know throw a head on and you cute <laughs> throw a head on and it's up and it's stuck okay once again i don't know where my box foot is ah, it says paid mason crevelli's iris Mal malican is the most unique iris scent yet with notes of amber vanilla Oris butter and leather accord makes for a unique summer scent. We hope you enjoy all our best. The Twisted Lilies team. I just love them. They keep you girls smelling good. You hear me? And I was buying. Let me tell y'all a back story about me and Twisted Lily. Twisted Lily is who is the company that I bought my first niche fragrance, which is. Um, uh, Mason Francis Curtishon back at our Rouge I bought it from them and at the time it was like when I first started vlogging so I was basically living off of my severance package unemployment that I was getting my little stimulus unemployment girl and yeah I, I really couldn't afford it but I wanted it so bad because all of the girls was talking about it and so at the time they had afterpay so I got Baccarat Rouge on Afterpay, so I didn't have to like pay for it in full. These nets is getting on my nerves. Ooh! Um, now I think they do shop pay. Just a little backstory. I've been loving Twisted Lily since before they partnered with me and started working with me. So, a company that I really, really trust and I love them over there. So, if you want some good niche fragrances they got you and you can always use my coupon code so this is the box that it comes in it's moving around a lot oh okay this little thing here came off i was just about to say now i know my my bottle ain't broke and this is z bottle i'm gonna spray it on this first it says amber it says it has amber, vanilla, leather. Oh, I like. Yo, so you know what this is giving me? Mancera Instant Crush. First spray, initial spray when I spray it, that's what it's giving. Mancera Instant Crush. And lately, I have been like giving like three sprays on my forearm and just letting it dry down and spraying it on my shoulder. 
That way, my hair can like, you can get in my hair a little bit, but no more on my neck. Because I read that spraying um, perfume and fragrances on your neck ages your neck. It causes wrinkles and stuff like that. Plus, I've been breaking out in my chest area, so we leaving that part of my body alone for a while when it comes to like fragrances and lotions and stuff like that. Mmm, I like it. It is giving a little instant crush. Man, Santa's instant crush a little bit. We gonna see what it smell like after it dry down, but I'm liking it so far. Come on, first impression. Quick little outfit of the day. Nothing special. Zara crop top, audacious body wear jeans, BV sandals, Jody bag. Real simple. I can't understand why we treat each other in this Maybe she did something when she did this. Taking my time with the silly, silly game and the murder, how it said it. Y'all know when y'all making a pizza and you let the oven preheat and you open the oven to put it in the put the pizza in it. That's what it feel like outside today. When you first open the oven to put the pizza in the oven. hot out here I know it's a hundred I know it's in the hundreds today you can't tell me it's not in the hundreds today I know it is you think I ain't parking a parking spot I ain't supposed to park in I sure did I sure did all right so I just watched um, a foundation review on YouTube for the new Georgia our money power fabric foundation and I want it so it gave me the reason to come to the mall and I forgot it was a damn Saturday how are you good you girl I'm working on a Saturday <laughs> you're working on a Saturday you are working on a Saturday <laughs> Excuse my skin. Girl, we're in Texas. Right. I like that one better. Absolutely. All right, got the new Armani foundation. It looks amazing. So if you are um, my color, my, my same shade, I got it in a 7.75. I usually bring one of my favorite foundations to match myself, like the NARS uh, Soft Matte. Oh, that's like a perfect match to my skin tone. Um, so I kind of use that as a reference when I'm foundation shopping, but I forgot to bring it. But he matched me to my neck and it was like a spot on match. So you can get like the seven or the set, no, the 7.5 or the 7.75. Both of them are typically my shades. I think the 7.5 is like my summer shade. Y'all, this, perfume as I walk I can smell it it's like permeating off of my skin just because of the heat and I'm not sweating but oh it smells so good so let's see what Zara got going on oh and I want to go in Nordstrom's too and get a uh, Le Labo candle Okay, just left out of Nordstrom's. <sighs> we got one more stop. I want to go to an Ulta to see if I can find 
a good exfoliator like the manual ones you know with the grit I know I've had estheticians to tell me that I shouldn't use those because it aggravates my acne but my purpose for wanting to get one is so I can purge like I am so congested in this area for some reason I need to purge and I'm just gonna have to deal with the breakout because I'm like extremely congested it's sickening I just met a PayPal I just met a whole bunch of PayPal's in the mall today baby the mall was lit the mall was very much lit today yes indeed and I just met the absolute prettiest PayPal ever ma'am was giving and absolutely stunning um we exchanged numbers and we're probably going to link tomorrow to go to a fashion show and just kiki and just get to know one another and hang out because i just love her vibe i turned around like you know how you can feel somebody looking at you i turned around and i looked over and i'm like wow she is so pretty and she was like, I know this not paid. I know it. She was over there like, I know this not you. And I was like, hey girl. She was like, girl, I'm so mad. I, I'm seeing you like this. And I'm like, child, I look a fucking mess. And I'm wrong for coming to the mall looking like this, knowing that one, somebody gonna recognize me. And two, my skin all fucked up. And three, it be some niggas in the mall on Saturdays, okay? I am still single by the way don't don't get it twisted sir has not made anything official I asked him what we is so what we is and he gave me that diddy ass answer we dating we go have dates and we friends baby I'm, I'm still single and I'm finna live my my single summer life okay I ain't even finna stress it hey I, I just I just wanted a clarification before I do me and what about it so we gonna pop over to Ulta really quick so I can get me a nice exfoliating uh, scrub, facial scrub. I'm going to start back steaming my face too because I just feel like I need it. Ever since the, 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 the season changed, now it's summer, I feel like my skin is going through and it's used to the skincare products that I'm using. So I feel like I, it's time to introduce something new. Yeah, I feel you over there staring at me. I'm not talking to myself. Mind your business. I hope you read lips. So anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's time to introduce something new to my skin. So it can get together. Because this shit right here. First of all, it wouldn't look like this if I had never put astringent on it. And left it on there. Like, I literally burned my skin so yeah it, ooh, girl. you know what i don't want to write this down i want to tell you how i feel right now come fuck with me now i ain't saying that i'm mystified but right now i know it's missing in your life are you overdue for some all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna show y'all how to make a matcha teeny. So first and foremost, you wanna boil your hot water, get you a cute little kettle off of Amazon. That's what I did. And you wanna get you some organic matcha. I got this from Thrive Market. Mix it with your hot water and yes, froth it, okay? Is that how you say it, froth it? Yeah, you gotta froth it, bitch. Then you wanna add one shot of vodka, no flavor. Don't be trying to get jiggy with it, cause yeah. One and a half shot of Bailey's Espresso Cream. This is what's gonna give it the flavor, okay? Then you want to do a half shot of Godiva chocolate liquor because, yeah, it needs it. Now you want to add your matcha mix, ice, and shake what your mama gave you. Now pull it up like Pimp C would say. And, yeah, I'm calling this the Incredible Hulk, baby, because when I tell you you can't taste the liquor, you cannot taste the alcohol. This drink is very dangerous, so drink at your discretion. Enjoy, bitch. All right, you guys, cheers. Let's give it a taste. Wow. That is pretty amazing. Wow. Wow. It don't even taste like 
like alcohol. It doesn't even taste like alcohol. Like I literally could drink this. Y'all saw I put alcohol in it, right? This does not taste like alcohol at all. Like I could chug this right now. It's so good. Where the alcohol is? Bro, I put alcohol in this. Where is the alcohol? I put a whole shot of vodka and a shot and a half of Bailey's and a half a shot of chocolate liqueur. The Godiva. Where is the alcohol? Oh, this going to hit you. Baby, y'all gonna be a loaded baked potato. Y'all gonna be a loaded baked potato because I can't taste the alcohol at all. This is scary. We should call this the Incredible Hulk. Because it's a little scary. Try to get the alcohol to go to the bottom. I'm, I'm confused. Okay, so after I had that, after I had that matcha teeny, baby, I got in the bed. I did not go to sleep though. I'm not even gonna front. It did not put me to sleep. So, like I said on Instagram, because I made it look real, drink at your own discretion, because I was up at like three something this morning. It did not put me to sleep. I possibly could have went to sleep, but I had a lot on my mind. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys. Excuse me, I just woke up at like 11 something. I had the shades down. I had my bathroom door closed. I had this door closed. So literally no light was coming in my room this morning. I'm definitely going to start doing that more often. But I'm going to have to start setting an alarm to wake up because... It was so dim in my room this morning, I thought it was raining. And the first thing I thought of was like, damn, I forgot to take my umbrella down. Because, uh, but it's zip tied now, so baby, it's gonna flip over the whole couch if the wind try to flip it over this time. But I wanted to show you guys what I got yesterday at the mall. So first things first, Zara. I got a lot of cute stuff at Zara yesterday. So this is the first dress, it's in a large. Y'all, we got to try this stuff on because if it don't fit, we got to hurry up and take it back. Because one thing about Zara, Zara do not play about their return policy. You cannot be late. They will not take it back. And I got a couple of things that I had to keep because I was late on a return policy. So, I guess I'm going to have to try to get it altered or cut or some way so I can actually wear the items that didn't fit. Like, I'm talking about it was too little, not too big. <laughs> so... This is the dress that I got yesterday. It's super cute because it has like the little bling right there. It's giving uh, Madonna 90s Vogue. Hopefully my tatas fit in it. And this was $49.90 and I got it in a size large. I didn't even, listen, the, the fitting room line yesterday in Zara was so freaking long. The register line was so freaking long. I went upstairs to the men's department to pay for my clothes, my items because <clears throat> I knew that the men's line was going to be shorter than the children's and the, the women's. So, yeah, I didn't try anything on. I just, I just bought what I felt like I could fit. And so I got this in a large. Then I got this cute, um, this is kind of like a muscle tee bodysuit got it in a medium for $39.90 next I got this ruched baby how you say ruched is it ruched or rush it I got this bodysuit in this Bottega green I got this in a medium and it cost $25.90 then I thought that this halter dress was so cute it's super simple it's super oh and by the way I have on a back brace that's what this is. 
so it pulls my shoulders back and it helps release all of the attention from me slouching it, it helps my posture and it keeps me from slouching and it re releases all the attention right here and in my um upper back oh i sleep in it now it y'all it helps so much it really does but yeah this cute little halter it's just a simple solid dress i got this in a size small because i wanted it to be snatched okay and it was 29.90 then i got this ruched white simple dress i felt like it's real it will be real cute it would be real cute on vacation i got this in a medium and it was 49.90 oh this is so cute i love this I love this. This is just like a little lace bodysuit. I got it in a medium and it's $39.90. I saw this and I was like, please, Lord, let me be able to fit this medium because they did not have a large. And y'all know I have been loving me some good old slip dresses lately, honey. And Zara good for a cute slip dress. Let me show y'all this. Ain't this cute? It's giving lingerie. It's giving lingerie. I got this one in a medium and it's $49.90. The reason why I got it in a medium because all of the smalls were gone. I think they might have had one small, but it had makeup on it. And the cost of everything, I did good. I only spent $295.97. So we did good. We do got to try this stuff on so we can know what fits and go ahead and take a bit. Then I popped over to Le Labo and I got a few things. So I got the Santal 26 candle. Y'all, this candle smells so amazing. Um, it basically smells like, this is like the New York scent. Although when I went to New York, I didn't smell it. But this is like the New York scent. It's um, the Santal 23 fragrance from Le Labo was uh, a rendition of this. So love this candle. I got it for upstairs because downstairs I already smells like this. It smells like Santal 33 downstairs. It smells like the fragrance, not the candle. Um, Because I have Aroma 360 and they have like scents that smell like different hotels and santal 33 basically smells like the one hotel so this is one of my favorite candles from le labo i go to le labo and try to like venture out and smell the other candles but that's the only one i like i also got the another 13 shower gel it's in the shower because i used it last night y'all can do without it I'm just saying it's very light like it only smell good in the shower when you get out you don't smell it like you can't smell it on your skin when you get out the shower so it's not worth the money but I also got the Taynoir 29 body lotion this is one of Monroe's favorite scents she actually has the fragrance the fragrance was sold out catch um but I did get the body lotion and I'm gonna tell you guys how I ended up getting it so I went in there to get the candle because Honestly, I went to the mall just to get one thing. I end up spending over $2,000. But I tried this on. I just like put it on my hand and like rubbed it in or whatever. And as I was walking out of the mall, when I opened the door, I caught a whiff of the scent just from being, out, being on my hand. I did an about face, went back into Nordstrom's and bought the body lotion because this smells so good. I don't have the fragrance though, so I'm going to have to find something that will pair really well with this and combo with it because I actually want to put it on today. This smells so amazing. So I know when Monroe wears it, she usually pairs it with Baccarat. She pairs it with a number of things. I have Baccarat, so I might try it with Baccarat. I don't know. I feel like this will smell good with something that smells like vanilla or something like that. But yeah, this smells amazing also while we were in nordstrom's i went over into the shoe section because y'all know i am a shoe girl child and i was looking at these cute dior slides um because i'm getting ready to go on vacation soon child i need i need to be by somebody beach so i was looking at these dior slides and i moseyed over to the freaking fendi table and honey honey I tried these on and I could not leave them in the store. These are freaking beautiful. 
Oh my God, they look so good on the feet, y'all. They look so, they look so good on the feet, Lord. I tried them on in a 37, so the one that they had on the table, I was like, do, 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 do. let me just try it on. Let me see how it look, whatever. It's $14.50, I ain't gonna buy it today. Child, I tried on this size seven. I said, baby, bring, bring it to me in an eight. I could not leave it at the store. Those are so freaking gorgeous. Lord. Then I also went to Neiman's and I already put it in my drawer and like stowed it away. But I bought the Power Fabric Giorgio Armani Foundation. I haven't used it yet, so I cannot review it. I really, really was in desperate need of some white wide leg trousers. So I popped over to Aritzia and i got these i need to try these on because these are in a size eight these look huge i wanted to get a six but i've tried six sixes on before and they are so tight around my hips it makes me look very boxy because I, there's no like slack you know what i'm saying so i decided to go ahead and get these in an eight i might be taking these back because these look big and they're not as wide as i wanted like i wanted them to be wide leg these are more like flare legs so i'm gonna try these on real quick because if they don't fit i'm taking them right the fuck back Okay, I also got this Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. It's a salicylic acid. I just got this small one just to try it out before I actually committed to the big bottle. Um, this is an interesting product, right? I don't know why I thought it was a cleanser. It's not a cleanser. This is like... Um, it's just a liquid that you put on your skin and you leave it there and it's supposed to like help with breakouts. I'm going through something right now with my skin. I don't know what's going on, but it seems like it's reverting back to when I first started vlogging. And um, yeah, we, we, we cannot have that. So I'm trying this out and I woke up this morning and my skin seems to be looking better than it was yesterday. I also popped over to Ulta and picked up this Dermalogica's Daily Exfoliant. Um, I used to use this so much when I would get facials at Ulta. Um, back when I lived in Memphis when I first started vlogging and my skin loved their products. But then um, they reached out to me to sponsor a video. I started using all of their products like their whole line and my skin went crazy. So I had to let them know I couldn't do the video um, and I just completely stopped using their products. But I, I remember loving this to the point where I would buy it over and over again. So I did buy this again and it seemed to have helped with using this in conjunction with this with my um, cleanser. And the only thing that I did different as far as my routine, I did use my, um, my sebum oil with the, um, the herbal mist to moisturize because my face was really, really tight and dry after using these two products. So when I woke up this morning, I do still have this sore right here from over, um, I put a stringent on a pimple that had popped because I wanted to clear the pore. I wanted to clean the pore. So I left it on too long and it caused, uh, it put this sore on my, on my face. So we have to put makeup over this today because we have an event to go to, but yeah, all of this congestion that was down here looks a whole lot better. I'm not saying that it's gone, but it don't look like it looked yesterday. So I'm going to keep up with this routine and hopefully we see an improvement in this side of my face because this side of my face is good. But yeah, that's my haul for yesterday. I am getting ready to um, wash a unit because I'm going to a fashion show with one of the PayPals. I met her yesterday while we were in Nordstrom's when I was getting this Tay Noir body lotion. Um, I looked behind me and um, she recognized me and I was like, wow, she's so pretty. And like, we just talked and she was like, you want to go to a fashion show? And I'm like, yeah, girl, let's go. Cause I ain't got nothing to do. I would have been in the house all day probably watching a show. So we're about to do my hair. And then we're going to get ready because the fashion show starts at 5. So we got a little time to get ready and figure something out. Figure, I got to find something to wear. Okay, so this is the look for the fashion show. 
so um the bob old y'all know i love my banging bob it get on my nerves sometimes but i love it um the dress i feel like it's giving a nice high fashion look it's from fashion nova and the shoes are gian vito rossi on the face i did try the new uh georgia armani power fabric foundation i love it it gives a nice um realistic finish to the skin um but it does definitely cover imperfections um it smooths out texture like if you have like little bumps or whatever it definitely smooths out texture it looks really good and then i also paired it with the giorgio armani maestro um liquid lipstick this is a satin finish and it's in the shade 400 so this is more of a bright red versus the other one that i have that's more like a dark red so yes this is the look in tonight's fragrance i paired another 13 with joe malone mirror and tonka and baby you would not believe but this combo smells so god doggone good all right so the time is now 4 50 I say we're doing good time. So, uh, oh shit, I need a bag. <sighs> I think I'm gonna, gonna carry my little basketball purse. Gotta get some spare batteries. Come on, wig. Switching purses here. I decided to take. This cute Chanel bucket bag. Uh, don't need that, but yeah, we definitely gonna need some motion and Tylenol. I don't know why my legs be um, aching, but baby. <laughs> Sis getting old. Sis a mess out here, baby. I don't know if this is arthritis trying to kick in or what, but listen. What we not gonna do is call me auntie. A troll not too long ago called me a grandma just because I ain't wanna argue with her. Man, sis, you know I ain't no damn grandma. Don't play with me. Play with your bitch. All right, let's go. <sighs> Take you to the street. Yo, it's 102 degrees outside, my bro, my boy.
we're getting ready to, me and Kristen are getting ready to go to um, this restaurant called Push. <laughs> Alright, me and Kristen are getting ready to go to this restaurant. We have reservations um, at Musumi. It's a sushi restaurant. Um, it's both of our first time going. Uh, we had to leave out of the... We had to leave out of the event a little early because maybe both of us literally are starving. Like, we sitting there uh, looking at the clock. The event started at 5, but the fashion show didn't begin until 7.15. But I will say, I was impressed, baby. There was not a fashion show like back in Memphis. Because if y'all didn't know, I used to model for like local designers in Memphis. And honey, they, they came with it. They came with it. The evening gowns were gorgeous. Um, the fashions were very, very impressive. Like, I seen a couple of suits that I would definitely buy. And I, I wish I would have got their information. Because um, I saw a lot of suits that I like that I would definitely wear and buy. It was this red one in particular. It was so nice. Mind your business. It was so nice. So... Yeah, it was a really, really nice uh, um, fashion show. Very, very impressed. So now we about to head to this sushi restaurant and it's called Musumi. Muchumi. I wonder is it Muchumi, Muchumi or Musumi? Either way, honey, we headed there. I cannot wait because I looked at the menu I kind of cheated and I looked at the menu um, and the menu has fried lobster rice lobster fried rice listen I haven't had lobster fried rice I didn't even know like these it was a place in Dallas that had it I haven't had lobster fried rice since Atlanta and I ain't been to Atlanta in a while but that lobster fried rice was so good, y'all. So I'm excited. And we're gonna be on time. Lord, you know how hard it is. Dealing with the pain that it day of a one man. She can never be what I am. But as long as he will me, that's what it's gonna be. Sunday fun day is a popping night for Dallas. It's, it's so peaceful. Moochimi! This is giving Pulp Fiction. <laughs> and we're ending the night with a new place. I know! Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. How you leaving? You grab that? I got my dog. Did you go to 45? 45. 45. 45? Yeah, what is 45? Here we go, we go 45. I was in the house. Which way you go? Um, the little bridge. I think it has 35, 35, 35, 35. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you from here, so you know how to get it without GPS. You, you didn't use GPS, did you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 <laugh
was asked for a reason, so ain't no motherfucking reason to be reasonable. All right. You the type I slap out. Slap out. Mad cause a bitch got a bag in my back out. Keep playing, I'ma snap out. Call this motherfucking phone number again, I'ma black out. Call a bitch, bring a trap out. What's up? Bring the pull it up if a bitch wanna act out. He got a bitch with a check now. So it shrinks on the dick, you ain't shipping in the check out. I got that nigga in the big about You the help in the circus, he don't need no more. That bitch, you get that bitch, sit back cause a real bitch, you pull up. Two, three times to make sure 